Need a good laugh to kick off your Labor Day weekend? <laughs> I love you guys. Well, then you are in for a real treat because we have some stunning video to show you of uh, some of the worst uh, J.D. Vance soft pedaling that you'll ever see in defense of some of the worst Donald Trump heinous posting that you'll ever see, why it would uh, almost be funny if it weren't true. Now, the Trump post in question, well, it's this. A former president of the United States who wants to be the next president is now directly spreading the slogans of the conspiracy cult QAnon as well as posting a crude, sexist, and misogynistic slur online. Reposting, to be precise, which means he didn't come up with it himself, but liked it so much that he wanted the rest of the world to see it. Again, this is what the former president of the United States chose to rebroadcast to and amplify for his many followers. He did not look at this stuff, chuckle silently to himself, if that's what he would do, and move on. Instead, he wanted to give it the stamp of approval of the 45th and perhaps the 47th president of the United States. And then there is this, a photo of Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton. The caption, which I'm not going to read out, is demeaning of both women and contains a vulgar reference to oral sex acts. Now remember, again, this is the Republican candidate for president and the 45th president of the United States talking about two women who, no matter what you think of their politics, are two of the most accomplished women in American political history. Well, that seems uh, pretty indefensible to me. But vice presidential candidate J.D. the joke man, well, he stepped up to the microphone on CNN this morning to give it a try. And you got to see what he did. Uh, you have to keep in mind, too, that you're listening to a very smart expert on mean-spirited frat boy posts gone wrong. Why, he just came under fire himself in the very same interview for posting this gem yesterday, citing a former Miss Keen USA contestant and former student at the Donald Trump Modeling School as the measure of stupidity. Now, that's one mean meme, but you can't write this stuff. Now, let's see how he laughs off his stupid post before he tackles defending his boss's stupid post later in the same interview. Last night after CNN released a small clip of the Harris interview, you on Twitter posted a clip from a Miss Teen USA beauty pageant from 2007, Caitlin Upton, and you wrote, I have gotten a hold of the full Kamala Harris CNN interview. Now, this thing that surfaced around the internet for a few years, um, she had, you know, she struggled answering a question back in this beauty pageant. I'm not sure you're aware, in 2015, Caitlin Upton did an interview with New York Magazine about all the social media attention this clip got, and she said, I definitely went through a period where I was very, very depressed, but I never let anybody see that stuff except for people I could trust. I had some very dark moments where I thought about committing suicide. John, I, I'm not going to apologize for posting a joke, but I wish the best for Caitlin. I hope that she's doing well. And again, what I'd say is one bad moment shouldn't define anybody. And the best way to deal with this stuff is to laugh at ourselves. Uh-huh. And now it's our main course. Uh, and also, please stick around after this great clip. I'm going to show you how this study and sophisticated ribald comedy began. Uh, the early moments of the CNN interview are priceless as well. But first, the vice presidential candidate with all the wit and charm of an overdraft bank fee notice faces the music on behalf of QAnon mouthpiece Donald J. Trump, the GOP poet laureate of Locker Room Talk. Talking about Donald Trump's social media, would you describe his posts over the last 48 hours as, as, as lifting people up, quoting, reposting QAnon statements, reposting these misogynistic memes about Vice President Harris and Hillary Clinton? That's the kind of open discussion that you think is lifting people up? Oh, John, I think if you look at Donald Trump's full campaign appearances and, yes, his social media appearances, what you see is two things. A guy with an agenda to lower prices and bring back American prosperity and a political candidate who isn't stodgy, who likes to have some fun and likes to tell some jokes. I'd much rather have mm -hmm. a candidate who's willing to go off script, who's willing to give every interview and is willing to tell some jokes. I do think that's how you lift people up. A politics of boring scolds telling people they can't laugh, that is not lifting Americans up. That's how how to tear us down. It's true, JD. Maybe we should lighten up. After all, there are plenty of jokes coming out of your campaign for sure. In fact, it seems there are new ones written every day. It was a grammar thing. It was a speech thing. It was it was somehow some confusion in the words that he chose. Senator Vance, can you hear me? Super static. 